Bihar and Ikea group of schools for the past four years. And this summer we had an opportunity to actually have all the students from CMR and Ikea schools in our office doing the internship. So during the internship they built this model over here. So this model had certain qualities. We tried to build a humanoid as uh, Sophie, as you all know, and the students did their best by giving in their ideas, by putting in their design thinking skills, and uh, you'll see much more in the video about how it works. Thank you. Uh, my name is Athar, I'm in 11th grade, and I'm from AKIT. Uh, my name is Pranav, I'm from CMR NPS, I'm in grade 11. Hey, I'm Veda from CMR NPS, and I'm from 9th grade. Yeah. Uh, my name is Akshita, I'm from CMR NPS and I'm in 9th grade. Hi, my name is Kushal and I'm from 11th grade and CMR NPS. My name is Gautam, I'm in grade 11 from CMR IT period. We are the group who interned at RoboMations and we are here to introduce you to our robot s 2 r So s 2 r is a mascot for the company RoboMations which we have built as a team. The head part has two major components. The one is the ultrasonic sensor, which is resembled the eyes. If you, if you bring any object near it, the LEDs on the top of the head will glow, as you can see. So over here, there's a micro bit, which is kind of like the mouth. It's used for facial expression. So depending on which button you press, there are different expressions, like a smiley face or a sad face. OK, now moving on to the body of our robot. First, initially we thought we would build a body which is about 5 feet tall and due to stability issues we brought it down to 2 feet. The body consists of a recorder which basically takes an input and gives an output of whatever you are recording and it has a lidar sensor which beeps when, when there is no light. It also has a micro bit which shows the heart of the robot. And the bottom of the uh, robot is of the, uh, we have built it over feet and we, uh, we operate it, it moves front and back. So for the arms of the robot, we decided to only make the lower part of the arm move as it would be much more lightweight. So we connected the lower part, lower arm to a uh, servo motor and using our potentiometer we can control the movement. So using this we can move the arm up and down. For the right hand of the robot, we have uh, decided to be able to pick and place objects. So we have used two servo motors here for the movement of 360 and up and down, and at the bottom of the string we have attached a magnet allowing it to pick up anything that is magnetic. Through our internship with RoboMations as part of the work exposure program, we gained a very different experience compared to academics. One of the main differences was the amount of responsibility we had. In the internship, we had a lot of pressure to make sure all our tasks were completed on time compared to school. We were also which enabled us to put forth our ideas as to what we wanted to do in this four weeks of our internship more openly and freely, which gave us a more liberty of choice. Uh, during our internship, we, uh, we had a design challenge session where we basically des uh, designed our robot and we also broke down the process of building a robot into various steps. Apart from learning in the board and the classroom environment, applying those concepts which are learned in the school to the real world was a valuable skill which we had learned. We learned how to work in a group and use everyone's skill sets effectively to make a robot. We learned many skills in, uh, in the RoboMission internship which we are going to carry on in our life such as time management, team, uh, teamwork and uh, resourcefulness. 